Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by and checking out another video on my channel. Uh, today I wanted to talk about cold calling, and cold calling specifically for voiceover actors to try to get jobs down the line. Um, so the way that I approach it is a little different than a cold call you might do for, for a business or a sales team. So in a sales team they kind of call, uh, call prospective clients and they try to sell them on the phone right, there, right then and there. Um, but what I do with with um, a lot of advice that I got from Bill DeWeese, who has a great YouTube channel and is a voiceover actor and a, and a really good coach, uh, voiceover coach. So what he recommends is kind of just calling um, media production agencies and introducing yourself and telling them who you are, what you do, and asking if you can send them your demo um, so that they, when the time comes and they have a job that matches your voice, they'll have you in mind and they'll reach out to you um, for a voiceover job. So when I call, I don't say, hi, please buy my voiceover service. I just introduce myself and ask if they're accepting my voiceover demo. And the, the dialogue that I use is, is really simple. So basically I say, hi, my name is Joe Murphy. I'm a voiceover actor. Um, I was wondering if you could help me today, um, connect me to the creative director or the person in charge of voiceovers. And if they say, yeah, sure, that's me, I say, oh, great. I was just wondering if you are currently accepting voiceover demo submissions. And so usually they say yes. I haven't had anyone say no yet um, because they're always looking for voiceover actors for their upcoming projects. Um, so I say, so when they say yes, I say, oh, great. Do you have an email address that I can send you the link to my website where it has all of my, uh, my voiceover demos? Usually they say yes because they don't really want an attachment in their email. Um, so I send them a link to my to JoeMurphyVO.com, my website, um, and they check out. And if they have a job coming up, they can check out uh, my demos and see if I would fit that current job. So that's the basic dialogue I use. But here's a here's an example of a cold call I did earlier today. Mike, this is Francesca. Hi, my name is Joe Murphy. I'm a voiceover actor. I was hoping you could help me today. Maybe point me in the direction of the creative director or person who deals with voiceover talent? Um, is this for house casting? I'm sorry? Is this, are you calling for house casting? I'm just, yeah, I'm just calling to see if you are currently accepting voiceover demos. We, I mean, I can, I'll try, this is legs, so it's a little different, I'll try oh, okay. house. All right, thank you. Hi, my name is Joe Murphy. I'm a voiceover actor. I was wondering if you could help me today. Maybe point me in the direction of the um, creative director or person who deals with voiceover talent. Uh, I'm sorry? I was wondering if you could point me in the direction of the creative director or person who deals with voiceovers. Um, let me double check. Hold up. And what is this then regards to? I'm just wondering if you are currently accepting voiceover demo submissions. Oh, okay, give me one second. Sure. Yes. Hey, um, I was told that they only accept it during uh, by physical mail. Okay. Do you have oh, a you, mm -hmm. Do you have an address I can send it to? Sure. Um, you can send it to House Casting. House Casting. And the address is four five zero. Four five zero. West Fifteenth Street. Four five zero West Fifteenth. I'm sorry. Four five zero West Fifteenth. All right, thanks so much for your time. Okay. No problem, Joe. Bye. So that cold call was actually interesting. It was the first time anyone asked me to send them a physical copy of my voiceover demo. Um, it seems strange that they would want um, an actual CD with the voiceover demo, but I'll send it out to them and see what happens. I guess when they have a physical product um, in their hand, it's more... Uh, they, it feels real to them, and so they're more likely to hire that voiceover actor because they're t they've taken the time to send them a CD copy. Um, but usually what they do is they say, yeah, sure, send me a link to your website and I'll check it out. Um, so that's usually what I do. Um, here's another example. A lot of times uh, I'll get the voiceover, I'm sorry, I'll get the voicemail, so I just leave a message. So here's, here's some of the messages I leave.
Johnny Rich New Evolution video. Leave a message. We'll return your call shortly. Thank you. Hi, my name is Joe Murphy. I'm a voice actor. I was just calling to see if you are currently accepting voiceover demo submissions. If you are, you can give me a call back, 201-281-9765, or send me an email at joemurphyvo at gmail.com. Thanks so much. And that's pretty much what I do for cold calling, for, for voiceover jobs. So my, my goal is to just keep calling a lot of different media production agencies and not really think about whether or not I'm going to get a job with any specific one. So I'm not going to call a media production agency, introduce myself, send them my link and then wait for them to call me back. I'm just going to introduce myself, great, thanks, hang up, send them out an email and then go on to the next person. Um, something else that I do is I have a um, an Excel spreadsheet on Google Docs um, and I if I get a lead from a, from a media production agency or creative director and I, I think that they're interested in hiring me in the future, I'll add their email and contact information to that Excel sheet and I will put in kind of a timer that I have which will say um, in 60 days contact that person again. So um, it'll have a countdown and each day it'll go lower 60, 59, all the way down to zero and when it gets to zero it will send me an email alert saying that I should contact them again. So that way I, I stay on their mind. So I don't want to be, I don't want to call them too often, but I, so I reach out to them every two months. Um, and so I'll just call and say, hi, I called two months ago. I just wanted to let you know what I'm doing. Maybe I can tell them something about uh, a recent job that I did and just say hello and kind of do that every few months. And then eventually maybe that relationship will lead to a job. So what do you do for voiceover uh, marketing? Do you do cold calling at all? Or do you just send out emails? Or do you look on Craigslist? What do you tend to do? So let me know in the comments below. If you, if you like this video or if you have any advice on how I can improve my marketing and cold calling tactics, please leave a comment below. Subscribe if you haven't already to get updates on my new videos. And thanks for stopping by. See you next time.